Hi, welcome, Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by steps on how to add additional RAM to your Acer Aspire 5 laptop. Let me show you the model number. If you turn it around at the back of your computer, take a look here, it says Acer Aspire, um, sorry, A515-46 series. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is to get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. I'll be using the electric one, but you can use the regular, the manual spinning ones. So all the screws are the same sizes, so you're not, not too worried about if you mix match the screws. Um, they are just all the same size. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So wait, 4, 4, 8, 10, 11. So you have 11 screws in total. Alright, once you have removed all the screws, the next step is to pry open the back cover. I like to go from the side here because usually it is a lot easier to get in between that corner. Hmm, it's tough. I wonder if there is any screw hidden underneath here. Sometimes they do have hidden screw right underneath that, that uh, rubber. Let's take a look here. It doesn't seem to have any, so let me try again. Let's work on the other corner here. Alright, so it's a lot easier to work from the bottom corner. I apologize in advance for that reason. Now, okay, so once you have popped open that back cover, now you can only see that there's only one additional slot remaining for you to add additional RAM. Okay, so this is the DDR4 RAM. So let me go ahead and get that RAM for you. Okay, so here is the, uh, the additional RAM that you can add up to. Again, this is the DDR4 PC4 RAM. Okay, so this is the 8 gigabytes, and what you want to do is you want to slide the RAM at 45 degree angle. Okay, slide it in. Once you're in, you just simply press it down. The two side clipper will just clip and lock the RAM back in. So that means you just added additional 8 gigs of RAM, and you don't have to do any configuration or anything. The computer will just pick it up and add additional RAM to your laptop. Once you're done with that, the next step is to go ahead and close everything back up now. So I guess you should start from the very top and press it down all around the corner. And have all the screws put back together and that should do it. Alright, so if you find this video is helpful, please share the like share the link subscribe to the channel if you haven't i really appreciate that and if you have any question regarding about the computer feel free to comment below i do read your comments and i'll try to get back to you uh, as soon as possible and if you're not sure where to buy the ram from or not sure where to buy the right tools for this upgrade check out the link in the description below 
I'll link them you to I'll direct you to either Amazon or eBay for this um, upgrade. All right, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.